Good morning, Reefers. I'm Tanya from Coral Austin. Wait a minute, second. Um, I'm feeling orange. There we go. Now I'm feeling better. Today is Tip Tuesday, and I want to talk to you guys about a balanced aquarium and why it's important to have not just the right parameters for your aquarium, but also the right invertebrates to keep your tank and your glass and your aquarium looking crystal clear. I have a perfect example here how the same exact water and two systems right next to each other can look completely different. One looks like it's unkept, you would think the person doesn't know what they're doing and they let their system go out of control, even though the water parameters are exactly the same. So a lot of people are chasing parameters and they're wondering why their tank doesn't look so good and they spent, they spent a ton of money on fancy equipment but the one thing they're lacking is the proper inverts for their ecosystem to keep it balanced. Nutrient control is very important, and snails, shrimp, one reason I love tanks so much is they're always picking at your rocks, keeping them clean, and this is really uh, observant and easy to see um, right here. So let me show you guys this tank with snails in it. Right away, you can see the snails. The bottom is crystal clear on this side. Even the front glass is crystal clear. Now, we were feeding the anemones, so right away we gave them opportunistic, you know, different nutrients for the algae to grow. And especially in this tank, it started growing right away with nothing there to clean it. Um, the whole bottom is covered with this algae, and so is the front of the glass. Now, instead of having to go around and clean that, put a couple snails in there and they'll keep that clean for you. Um, now depending on your tank's inhabitants, you may not be able to have snails and certain snails can be a nuisance knocking over your corals. So things like turbo snails in a um, small nano aquarium I wouldn't recommend, but knowing which inverts, which crabs to keep in your tank will really make the difference. So just think of this, same tank, same water parameters, same lighting, and like I said, crystal clear tank, and this one's a mess. and. You really wouldn't know who took care of their tanks better. If I put them side by side, you would think that it was two different people, two different water. But in a very, it is the same water and same tank. So let me show you the sump. Now this is another really good example. My uh, sump underneath here. Uh, I just recently set this up and there is nothing living in here except for a small ball of chato. And you can see how the algae is already completely grown over the sides of the glass. And this really isn't going to eradicate itself if I don't put something in there to help keep this clean. Now, I want this to function as my refugium, so it will become a balanced ecosystem as I start adding things. Now, there was no food for them in the beginning, so adding snails and stuff in the beginning probably would have been pointless. But now that I can see, I'm ready to add some snails. So I'll probably throw some big turbo snails in here because I don't care there's no corals for them to knock over and they can just wreak havoc on the algae. I'm also going to put in some, probably some kind of tang or a fox face because they do great at controlling nuisance algae. So I'll show you a little closer look at the sump. All right, so you guys can see up close the sump. That algae has completely covered the glass already. And I am going to add some starfish. I'm going to add some snails. I'm going to add some fish. And I want you guys to pay attention the next couple weeks what this starts to look like. So everything is opportunistic. And if your ecosystem allows something, it's going to happen. So that's why fish tanks near natural daylight sometimes have issues with excessive algae, not because of their water conditions and not because of their ecosystem. And sometimes it's just that extra opportunistic uh, light that you don't have or someone else doesn't have. So that's why we always tell everyone, each aquarium is individual to your own um, special requirements because ecosystem, ecosystems can change, I mean, within a few feet of each other. So, as always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Until next time.